expression of immunoglobulin genes and v d j recombination so this is very important chapter in which we have just to discuss about the overview regarding the immunoglobulin genes and how they can just going to express in order to produce the immunoglobulins as you know that the immunoglobulins they are these are the very important molecules which are produced as a response of the immune activation by immune cells so the structure of the human antibody gene that means that the loci or locus so human immunoglobulin genes as the gene it immunoglobulins these are the proteins and the proteins these are usually encoded by the genes as the one gene one protein theory according to that theory the one gene can encode for one protein ek gene ek protein ko encode karega isi tarah immunoglobulins jo ke protein hain globular proteins hain aur immune cell se produce ho rahi hain unki encode encoding bhi gene se hogi and that gene would be called as immunoglobulin gene so the human immunoglobulin gene has an ana um, ability to produce to produce the immunoglobulin repertoires by the germ line gene segments means there are the different variety of the immunoglobulins they are just going to produce those are called as repertoire so those repertoires how they are just going to be produced kyunki germ line gene segments they contains and ultimately there is an a process of recombination or rearrangement that's why itna zyada number of immunoglobulins they can be produced these segments undergo the somatic recombination that means that during the development of the b cells jaisa ki b cells these are being responsible in order to produce the antibody producing cells which are called as the plasma cells to b cells ki maturation mein jo immunoglobulin ke genes hain they are just going to rearrange in such a manner ke har dafa ek nayi rearrangement ho aur jab उन रीअरेंजमेंट के साथ उन जीन्स की रीअरेंजमेंट के साथ एक बी सेल्स प्रोड्यूस हो मेच्योर हो जो कि एक स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑफ एंटीबॉडी इट वुड प्रोड्यूस और द नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन एवर देयर वुड बी अनदर डिफरेंट एंटीजन तो उस एंटीजन के अगेंस्ट नई बी सेल्स की डेवलपमेंट होगी जिसमें इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन जीन्स की मैच्योरेशन और डेवलपमेंट इट वुड बी डिफरेंट सो the basic component of the gene is being inherited means from the parents parents se ye genes inherited hote hain lekin in mein jo recombination hai that is at the somatic level means germ line recombination nahi hai parents se jo inherited ho rahe hain afterward jo somatic cells hain like b cells usme iski recombination hoti hai that's why it is called as somatic recombination okay so let's start with the light chain gene as we know that the human immunoglobulin they are composed of the two light chains and the one heavy chain so the one of the light chain is the lambda chain so is lambda chain that is going to be encoded is gene ki location human genome pe chromosome number 22 pe hai and these are composed of the 4c region genes c stands for constant region so lambda as we know that the lambda contains the four different like lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and lambda 4 so in this figure you can see that the lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 they are just going to be encoded and ye different types of lambda ke liye these constant region genes they are going to be there on the other hand on the left side in the red color you can see that these genes these are responsible for the variable genes variable regions so the number of the variable region in case of lambda it can exceed the 30 and similarly the v gene composed of the ladder exon that means that it can lead for the further expression ab hoga kya ki ye jo variable exons hain ye genes hain aur jo constant regions means the constant chains or the constant region of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 or lambda 4 they can just join together so there are certain variable exons are being there and there are certain joining region j region you can also see that j1 j2 j3 and j4 in between the constant region so those are going to be 
Introns are means intervening regions are present in between the exons which are the, the encoding regions. Similarly, in the second light chain that is the kappa light chain, is ka gene jo hai chromosome number 2 pe hai and it is composed of a single, single C region. Kyunke kappa ki eki type hai, that's why the single kappa is being there. And that's why here in the purple color you can see that C, C1 is being there, that is the constant region. And there are so many variable genes, V genes. In this case, more than 300 variable genes they are going to be present. And the V genes composed of the ladder region, same like the lambda. And the variable exons, they are going to be there. Joining exons, they are same like, like the lambda. And in between V, J and C, there are certain intervening regions which are called as introns. Ye non-encoding region hai. While ye jo C, V and J, they are encoding. That's why these are called as exons. And the next is the heavy chain gene. Human immunoglobulin gene mein jo heavy chain gene hai that is going to be present on chromosome number 4. And heavy chain there are composed of so many C regions because according to the class and the subclass. Jaisa ke mu chain is encoded for IgM, gamma chain encoded for IgG. So here in this figure you can see that in purple color there is the first one is C mu, then C delta, C gamma and so on. These are composed of the constant region of heavy chain and each C contains the exon for the hinge region. Now, if we amplify this T and zoom in, kare, so we can see that in between the C there is the region that is coding for the hinge region of the immunoglobulin. That is very important. Similarly, in this case, the variable region, the V region is of 1000 types. That means that determining the variability or the repertoires of the immunoglobulin. 1000 variable region ke genes, they are going to be present. That means ke different combinations may, there isn't a possibility that 1000 times they can be different. And similarly, in this case, each of the V gene is composed of the ladder region, same like in case of the light chain genes. And the variable region, they are the exons. But additionally, in the heavy chain, there is another additional region that is called as the D exon. D stands for diversity, means it encodes for the diversity of the antibodies. While the J or the joining regions, or these are for the joining exons. And similarly, there is also the introns, which are the intervening region in between the various exons like V, C, D and J. So this is a complete structure of the human Im immunoglobulin gene family which is composed of either light chain as well as heavy chain.